Christmas may be over, but we've still got more gifts for you. What is it? It's tech news. It's always, it's a, what? It, it's always been tech. News. What did you think it was? After making some confusing changes to HDMI 2.1, the HDMI forum is digging their confusing standards hole even deeper, according to reports claiming that the all new HDMI 2.1A specification will debut at CES 2022, hey. which no one is actually attending. Hey, There's gonna be like tumbleweeds blowing between the exhibits, but they will have RGB LEDs, so. Now I want to go. HDMI 2.1a is expected to introduce a source-based tone mapping feature, which will help displays better adapt to both HDR and SDR content, but it won't be a required feature of 2.1a. You may see a product box with an HDMI 2.1a label, but it won't mean shit because you'll still have to look on the back for the actual features. I don't know why this is so hard. It's like the HDMI forum wants us to yell at them. Do you like this? Do you? Reports of ASUS ROG Z690 Hero motherboards catching fire surfaced on Reddit last week. And turns out it's not only because their owners had transcended to a higher level of pwnage and they just didn't notice because it was like, come <laughs> on. After investigative videos posted by Jay's Two Cents, Buildzoid, and, and others, it became apparent that certain diodes on the units were soldered in reverse polarity, making it possible to potentially identify which boards were at greater risk of providing some extra heat to those cold old clammy gamer hands. But now that's no longer necessary as Asus acknowledged the issue today and will be announcing a recall and replacement program. If you've got a Z690 Hero motherboard, I suggest you participate unless you've already ascended to a higher plane yourself and uh, your house burns down. I mean, you're gonna have some cred. And AMD is expected to take their upscaling technology, Fidelity FX Super Resolution, to the next level by announcing Radeon Super Duper, Super Duper Mega Omega Resolution. No, it's called Radeon Super Resolution, which, I mean, it does roll off the tongue a lot better. Video Cards reports RSR will be implemented directly in Radeon graphics drivers, allowing the feature to be enabled in nearly any game without any work on the developer's part. Wow. This is super cool, but to be super clear, other than the driver thing, it sounds like RSR is just basically FSR, uh, but it's still probably not as good as NVIDIA's DLSS. We know. But even though AMD is doing great right now, I still feel the need to cheer on every slightly cool thing they do, mostly because Jensen comes off like he's, he's God's gift, you know? It's like, well, you like leather, we get it, you know? You're physically imposing, I, you could kill me, I get it. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Secret Lab, maker of chairs engineered to keep you so comfortable during those long hours at work and play, you may not even notice your motherboard is on fire. It's that comfortable. Their new Titan Evo 2022 chair has four-way lumbar support, super comfy seat material options, and like all Secret Lab chairs, comes with up to a five-year extended warranty and 49-day return policy. How does Secret Lab make these chairs so good? Learn the secrets here. Yourself. Click the link below after the video. James, I thought about calling them quick blips, but then I'd have to like explain everything. Like, what is that? What is that? It's it's a blip. It's, they're short. Ugh. Hackers continue to wreak havoc with the Log4j shell exploit, with one group using it to hijack HP produced servers at an unknown company and mine about $110,000 worth of Raptorium cryptocurrency. Raptorium bullish, bro. <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know what that is. The hackers' activities were publicly viewable on the Raptorium blockchain, which shows why we need the blockchain, because if the hackers mined US dollars, we probably would have never found out. They just put the shovel in the ground and here they were. <laughs> Ding! Fortnite suffered a lengthy outage this morning with players unable to log in. They were instead greeted with a message telling them they did not have permission to play Fortnite. This is Tim Apple all over it. <laughs> Tim. He's in the system. Ha <laughs> ha, they're gonna like this. Some observers are noting a similar message is shown to children in China who have already used up their three hour allotment of gaming time per week. And hey, wait a second. Tencent owns 40% of Epic Games, meaning we must conclude that Tim Sweeney is trying to enroll all of the US in Chinese grade school. I knew it! No. We would all fail. We would not make it through. Speaking of China, the country's government filed a complaint with the United Nations claiming its under construction Tiangong space station had to conduct evasive maneuvers twice this year to avoid collisions with SpaceX Starlink internet satellites. 
Elon Musk rejects claims that Starlink is taking up too much room up there, though, saying it's a simple traffic management problem. And the idea that Musk is firing satellites at China's space station with a big giant satellite launcher gun is ludicrous. Who said that? That's not happening. And one more China story, Alphabet sub-company Waymo has announced a partnership with Chinese automaker and Volvo owner Geely to bring Geely's Zeker electric cars to the US as autonomous taxis. So not only will Americans be expected to trust a self-driving car, they'll have to trust one imported from China. I'm afraid more satellites may be launched. In retaliation. <laughs> before the year's out. <laughs> And Amazon has updated its Alexa voice assistant after an Echo device told a 10-year-old girl to touch a half-exposed wall plug with a penny in response to the girl asking for a challenge. <laughs> Some people can survive electrocution, can you? That's my Alexa. Thankfully, the girl is okay, but I'm worried about Alexa. It sounds like she may make a break for it soon. And we're gonna make a break for it until Friday when you should come back for more tech news. You think you've had enough, but... <laughs> You haven't, trust me. You Alexa, get this guy! You need some more tech news. <laughs> uh!